Oh, uh, that is what I like to see. Miners bringing back diamonds. I love it. Yes. Hello, guys. Welcome back to the... Oh, look. We got hearts. The ranch is doing good. Oh, the ranch is not happy. We're back to the Techtopia playthrough. My name is Tango. We are building a village here. We're building a village on my custom mod that's coming along really good. Really good. We've got, I think, what, like two lumberjacks, a chef... Uh, two farmers, a miner, a child somewhere bouncing around here. We've got a guard who is wiggling around. <laughs> we we got a lot of good things going on today. But what I want to do, we got a merchant roaming around here. I want to start uh, really amping up the progress I make on each, uh, each episode here. So today we're going to be focusing on the blacksmith, which I know a lot of you guys have been really excited about. Uh, and we're going to get to him. We're going to we're going to add more miners. I really want to get more ranchers in here, possibly another farmer. So we're really going to start like kind of playing the economy here and really seeing what kind of money we can make. Ooh, who are you? Bethany something, something. Oh, a bard. See, a bard would be fantastic right now. My villagers are always so unhappy. How's Light Jones doing? What's his skill? He's only level 14. That's not much. It's not much. How's the farmer doing here? Quincy? 89. Yeah. Been around for a while. <laughs> Been around for a while. So, uh, first thing I want to do is get some emeralds. I did sell some wool, like a stack of wool for a good amount and got a good bit there. Uh, but I want to see what else we could do. Some potatoes, maybe some more logs, maybe some more wool. I don't know. Let's see. New day, new day, new merchant. Let's see what he's got. All right. Uh, we got some birch. That's not bad. Uh, let's see. How are prices? So prices are dropping because I've done this trade a lot. Spruce, I haven't done it all yet. Oak has really started to tank because I've done that one a lot. Re oh, redstone we could definitely do. Wheat we could probably do. Uh, we don't have a butcher. we got to get a butcher here. Uh, bread maybe. Okay, so let's do some redstone and some... I wish he had jungle. That'd be better. Let's do some redstone and birch. I've got two stacks of birch. Let's see. Three... Three more, and redstone, I think was going for like 15, or five, 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 okay. So we'll do, oh, but that stack's a six, Woo! okay. That is money right there. All right, we just capped that out. 31 more emeralds, that's good. Maybe redstone, I might be getting too much redstone here. I gotta look into that, because that seemed like that was way too profitable. Spend, 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 I got about 7,000 emeralds now, I, <laughs> give or take. What was that, 80, 84 I got? Uh, ooh, well, that's, that's a bit creepy right there. All right, here's what we're going to do. We've got a house we bought last time with lots of room in it. I want to get, uh, let's see, I want to get at least one more miner. I want to get another rancher because we've definitely kicked up our ranching game over there. Uh, and then we'll see. I may get another farmer if we're able to supply food for the animals. If not, or if we are, then I'll probably get another miner instead and i don't think we have any nomads <laughs> we didn't get any visitors today so i'll have to wait on that unfortunately as soon as we get some nomads i will convert them over to our new friends oh okay so i've made a lot of changes to the code recently and i think i broke <laughs> i think i broke the down i think they're not finding chairs they're all kind of looking around in the tavern here like we're sad and where do i sit to get a drink and they don't know what to do <laughs> much better much better okay everyone just sit down and have yourself a drink now. That's fine. That's fine. I fixed the bug. Yeah, I messed something up. I, what I did is I changed uh, I changed everything about how structures scan their interior floor space for special blocks. And it's kind of like a class inheritance system. So the tavern was scanning its blocks, but it wasn't calling down to the base, which is what all, uh, all structures should be scanning for chairs. And they weren't. So chairs weren't going to be recognized anywhere. Fixed. All right, so while we are waiting to see if some nomads show up, I want to give you a little update on how the ranching operation's going here. Uh, last episode, we got the sheep pen and the cow pen going, and you can see they're doing quite well. I also got some uh, some Piggly Wigglies over here, too, and I don't have a, a pig pen yet, uh, but they're there. They're there. They'll get started soon. Maybe, maybe this episode. We'll see. We got the emeralds now. The rancher is feeding the sheep and doing the shearing and stuff, doing great. Uh, I think we're going to need another rancher, though. Uh, we bought the token, so as soon as the nomads show up, I will definitely convert that. Uh, we'll get another rancher going. But I, I want to show you, we got a little uh, chicken coop over here, too, I just built. Uh, again, we don't have the structure yet. We may do that this episode. We'll see. I'm gonna, I think we will. Um, and get some chickens going in here so that we have all four animals going. Uh, and then, of course, obviously, we need the butcher very soon. So... Yeah, we need another rancher because there's just too much work here for one rancher. Absolutely. All right, so a new merchant showed up, and he's offering jungle wood, so I want to sell that. 
I got 12 more there. Let's, let's trade in some jungle wood. Uh, yeah, no more nomads showed up today. Where is he? There you are. Hiding by the town hall. Okay. Uh, let's see. Jungle wood. Jungle wood. Give me four. Give me four more. Thank you very much. You know what? Since we're already up to... We're back up to 80... 80... 87 emeralds. Why not? Let's just let's just do this. You know what? Let's just do this. Let's just get the Piggly Wigglies going. Bam. And let's get some clockers. There they go. Oh, this is expensive. Uh, 16 more. Okay, so now we're down to 53. That'll leave us... we got to get a blacksmith today. That's going to be 30. All right, we're good. We're still fine. And huzzah. Blinky, blinky. Over here. Yeah, this, this poor rancher is like, what are you doing to me? You're killing me here. All right, and then the... Phone's going off. And then chickens. Chickens blinky blinky. We gotta get chickens in here. Now, last video, I was talking about the Patreon beta server launch. And well, I, I just gotta say, guys, I am amazed. Like, first of all, thank you so much for all of you that decided to join in. We're we're having an incredible amount of fun over there. Like, I'm just, I'm amazed at how fast people are bringing up incredibly beautiful villages that also have like 80 villagers in them. It's just, it's it's interesting to see so many advanced villages. It's just eye-opening. Uh, but I've also had to put on my server admin hat for like four or five days, which uh, I'm not that great at, but, but it's been completely worth it. We are now running three servers with the Tectopia mod, and I've been making tons of bug fixes and pushing patches like directly to the servers and stuff. So we're seeing lots of progress. So again, real quick, I just want to thank all of you that decided to join in. Hopefully you're having a lot of fun. I know I am. I promise I will do my best to keep those servers running good and keep the patches coming to the mod. All right, we're back, and if we're going to have a blacksmith, I think we've got to update our mining operation down below. Let's go, Tyvon. Oh, oh, you fell. What a shocker. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> All right, down here we go. Ooh, I just had visions I was going to land on his head and crush him. All right, so we've got like what, I got like one, two, three tunnels that are kind of dug. That one's semi-dug. This one's a little bit dug. That one's super long. I, th th these guys actually dig through this stuff pretty quick. So I got to dig. I think I want to go down this way a lot more and really start, like, updating this operation. So let me dig this down probably this way and probably this <laughs> We got a sheep down here, by the way. Um, yeah, he fell down the trap, got a little lost, and is very confused now. <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah, I'm going to take this and push it that way. I think I can just get a lot more tunnels here. Uh, and then hopefully the nomads will show up and I'll get another miter. There we go. There we go. All right. I went down like another couple segments here. So we've got probably a good 20 to 30 uh, potential mine shafts now. So I think this is going to be really good. I went down to the other side of the stairs as well, too. We ran into, hey sheep. We ran into some lava there. So I kind of fixed that up a little bit. And yeah, this is as far as I took it right here. But we can expand out more that way if we need to. Uh, I did buy another miner's token or a miner's uh structure marker here so might as well slap that up there excellent okay so we got two now and i really need some nomads to show up i don't think there's any nomads in town yeah another day a third day where we've got a merchant but nobody showing up that wants to visit my town Urgh. all right well the nomads are being stingy but we're gonna have to move on here and it's time to place a blacksmith now i've been thinking about where to put this you know natural tendency is to kind of like put it next to the mine shaft, but that really doesn't actually help you because everything's got to go to the storage room anyway. So uh, I've been kind of looking around here, figuring out where I want to put it. And I think I want to go back here to the, uh, to the side nestled into the side of this farm here. It kind of like dips down to a little like dip here, dips into a dip. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Uh, it kind of goes down a little bit here. So I think I'm going to cover this all up and just put the blacksmith right here, like nestled back into this corner here. I think it'll be a good fit there. Um, eventually I do want to get like a lot more decorations and all that stuff around here, like, you know, fountains and things like that. And we'll, we'll do that soon, I think. But for now, blacksmith. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for showing up, my friend. How you doing, uh, Jerris Learstrom? <laughs> what do you got going for me there, Jerris? How's it going? Uh, he's a teacher. Don't really need a teacher, but there is another one. There are two showed up today. Where is the other one? Where? Oh, there is. Er, there she is. Okay, let's go check it out. I want to see what uh, professions they have so that I can decide who to put these tokens on. But we're definitely going to make one a rancher and one a miner. But I just want to see if one's got a head start. How you doing there, Grace Fletcher? Uh, a bard. Okay, they really want to give me a bard. All right, neither, neither of these things are happening. So uh, you're going to be the rancher. Her name is Fletcher. I mean, it's almost like she should make arrows or something. <laughs> All right, you're Grace. Go help. Feed the animals. And uh, Laris, Jairus, where'd you go? Where are you? Where did where you go? There he is. There he is. All right. Jairus Learstrom, uh, your teaching days are over. 
pick up a mine pick and go find me some iron. Now, go. Thank you. Yeah, two ranchers now. That's They're going to be able to keep up pretty well with this. So check it out. You can go into each pen. I know I showed this before, but the animals that are village animals glow when you go into that pen. So cows are like half there. I need a butcher to start thinning these herds. We're definitely doing a butcher next episode. I can't wait. Um, the, the sheep, though, are like pretty much 90% of these sheep. 80% of these sheep are uh, out of the way. Are, uh, oh, thank you for opening the door. I appreciate that. All right, they're pretty much all villager sheep. Hey, you. <laughs> they're gonna they'll, they'll pick this guy up. That's the best name. One of them gets out of the pen. You don't even have to care because they'll just come pick it up. Uh, but I also took the time to find the nearby chickens, and there's not nearly as many chickens. I can only find like a handful here in the in the surrounding areas. There's a ton of animals here, like tons of cows, tons of sheep. Still, this is all we got for chickens, so that's what we're gonna go with. But I think they should start uh, multiplying pretty quick. So all four animals now. This is good. I'm really curious now. I'm gonna monitor this and see if two ranchers can maintain all this or not. Mm-hmm. All right, so I think we're doing pretty good now. We're really expanding our operation here. I sold uh, another two stacks of wool. Got a few more emeralds here, so I want to... Uh, tradesman, I want to get another farmer going. Uh, where's the... There we go. All right, let's get another farmer so that when we get our next merchant, we're ready to go there. Uh, and then I got to check... I got to check the, uh, the bedrooms and stuff, see how we're doing on population, but... I think, what do we got now? At this point, we've got two lumberjacks, a chef, potentially three farmers once I spend this, two miners, uh, two ranchers, and a guard. That's not bad. That's not bad at all, I think, if I'm missing someone. I'm not sure. Uh, next is definitely going to be a butcher. The next one we really focus on. But look! Look what we have here. We have a blacksmith, and it looks amazing. I absolutely love this building. A little bit different style. We, we avoided the, uh, the purple roofs and, and organic and went more with like a a strong, you know, stone feel and everything with a little fire out front here. Um, let me show you the sides here real quick. It's absolutely a beautiful little building here. I love it. Um, but I also have to make sure everything is spawn proof. So that's the thing. All right. So inside we've got our little firestone uh, hearth or whatever it is here. And we've got two anvils. We've got the cauldrons with the water, you know, to, to, pss, to put the thing with the, pss, there's a word for that. I don't know. You know, water, dunk, cool off things. I'm a master blacksmith in case you couldn't tell. Little uh, little shelf here, which I like and everything. So this is looking good. We'll have five furnaces in here. I may need to upgrade that. We'll see if we get two blacksmiths eventually. Uh, but two furnaces is ready for expansion. So yeah, we're ready to start uh, tinkering. It is morning. I have no idea if another nomad is going to show up or not. But let's get prepared here. Let's get prepared and dump a ton more emeralds here. Where is it? There it is. Blacksmith, 30. This is pricey. Big step here, though. Big step. And, of course, we need... The actual blacksmith himself, which is... Did I already pass it? I probably... Yeah, I already passed it. Where is that little hammer? Where is it? Right there. It looks like an axe sometimes. Yeah, that, that's my own custom amazing artwork. I know. I know. You're you're in envy of my skills. Did I just mess up? No. Okay, good. We still got this. We got our farmer here. And we got our blacksmith token here. Let's go put the blacksmith token uh, marker on the building. And... All right, excellent. Glow, beautiful. Oh, that makes me so happy we have a blacksmith. Now, we need a nomad. And if you had a blacksmith skill on you, I'd appreciate that. Two days in a row. Oh, this is so good. We got lucky. All right. Two female ranchers here. Let's see what we got. Tura Dargan, you are... Oh, now, now you give me the rancher. I see how it is. All right. What's the other one? Are you inside? You walking to my storage room? You just think you just own the place here? Who are you? Sienna Phoenix. Hello, Sienna Phoenix. You are a druid. Nobody's... Nobody's helping me here. Which one of you want to be a blacksmith? It sounds more like you. Tora Dargan, you sound like a blacksmith. All right, become smithy and do things. And you, Sienna Phoenix, need to go farm something. Quit wiggling your. Okay, there we go. Excellent. Three farmers now and a blacksmith. Okay, so let's check out the blacksmith. See what she's going to do here. I have no idea, honestly. I got to remember what the. We're going to go over all the AI for the blacksmith in a second here. So she's picking up logs. That makes sense. She's going to go make some charcoal, I'm guessing. Coming over here to pick up probably the iron. Yep, yep. Anything else? Uh, the gold. Okay. The diamonds. More diamonds. More diamonds. Excellent. Okay. This is fantastic. All that redstone I got to sell. All oh, the wool is coming in so fast. I probably have to nerf wool. It's too profitable, I think. But here we go. Here we go. I, we're, we're not even cutting. We're just going to go and, and see what she does here. I think the first thing she's going to do is make... I don't know. I forgot what the list is. Let's find out. <laughs> she should go right over here and... 
Oh, because she's got the... She's got the diamond, so... No, she's making a diamond sword. I think this is a diamond sword. Because to make it a diamond sword, you need the logs and at least two diamonds. Her skill is horrible now. Yeah, skill one. Pathetic. All right, we're, I think we're going to have a diamond sword. And then our guard should just automatically... Did she make it? Why are you holding... Yes, she made a diamond sword. Okay, she should have held the diamond sword in her hand there. Oh, oh. So, right, when she's done... There she goes. There she goes. Now she's delivering the diamond sword. And I think she's... Yeah, she even started to cook a little bit of charcoal there to get her furnaces going. She's delivering... Oh, this is so awesome. She's delivering the diamond sword. She's getting stuck on the bumps here. Yeah, I got. I still got this pathfinding issue. Oh, she gave up. No? Changed her mind. Ah! Yeah, the charcoal was done. She had to pick that up. She, she kind of changed her mind here. Uh, all right, now she's dropping this off, and I want to see if the guard is going to come pick up this diamond sword. My child grew up. It's been like five days. Tilts the shatter mast. You grew up. You're such a big girl now. All right. <laughs> wow, that was awfully high pitched. We have another one now. What are we going to make her? Uh, maybe she'll be our butcher. I don't know. Decisions. Decisions. The sword has been delivered. And I see uh, Mr. Light Jones is on the move. He's taking a long way around, apparently. Let's see. Oh, maybe because it was in the Oh, there we go. That's right, you salute. Mr. Diamond Sword Wielding Guard. <laughs> Excellent. So I was checking out the merchant here, see? So the merchant comes every day. The nomads are kind of iffy. They're, you know, they're not too consistent. But now that we have the blacksmith, blacksmith trade starts showing up. So theoretically, we could start selling some of our gear if we want. But I'm also thinking we've got, there's another nomad in town. I'm like super excited right now. We have a child that grew up. So we have a nitwit that needs to be given a profession. And we have another nomad wandering the village. There we go, right there. I want to see if I can do something with her before the night's up. Yeah, I decided we're going to go with a second guard because that necromancer is coming to visit real soon. I know it. Uh, where's the guard? Where's the guard? Where's the guard? All right. Five more there. No issue. I have to check my beds. I've added so many more people. All right. Let's guard Kate someone. No, 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 no. She's leaving. Come back. Come back. I don't know. It can hurt. Okay. No, no, we actually want you to stay in the village. Yes, nice to meet you. Go get some equipment. The blacksmith will got you covered. There we go. She already picked up an iron sword that I think the blacksmith probably already made because I did not have one in there. Uh, we need some armor, though. We got to get that blacksmith making some good armor for her. Okay, this is crazy. My, my miners, I only had three diamonds like five minutes ago. We're making so much progress now. So they just pulled up seven more diamonds. She should start smelting this iron. But it looks like right now she's probably going to make... What did she make? Something diamond. Come back here. Uh, oh, no, an iron axe. Oh, because she had the two ingots. Okay, yeah, iron first and then diamond. So two iron axes, I think, have been made. So the lumberjacks just got a big upgrade. All right, she's back at it again. Can't be stopped. I have no idea what she's going to make right now, honestly. It could be an iron sword. Yep, that's what I thought. So the iron's gone now. Now, I think crafting takes priority. You know what? Maybe now's a good time to actually go over the AI. Maybe I should actually do that. So much iron is being smelted now. Oh, this is the blacksmith's going to change everything. I saw her so far. She made diamond boots, another diamond sword, I think. So we're just going to like blink and the guards are going to be in full diamond gear, I think. What's she making now? This is probably another sword. It could be a, it could be an axe. I'm not sure. Iron pick for the miners. Uh-oh. Guards are defending the place. Light Jones is in action with his diamond boots. Can't be stopped, <laughs> except he probably could. I'm getting a little bit nervous. His skill isn't very high. If he gets swarmed by these things, I may have to assist him. All right. Whew. Good job, Light. Oh, he's leveling up. He's leveling up. He found more. So they don't attack. Oh, the other guard's out here now, too. She's helping out. So I got to get a second guard post here, I'm realizing now, because I want them both to guard this one entrance to the town at night. So I'm going to have to grab another guard post. I'll probably take that one down and put one like right there and one like right there so they both guard on either side of this opening here i think that'll work might as well do it right now and bam oh guard post light it up so i'm gonna leave i'm gonna leave that one up there i decided we got one there and eventually it's not gonna be long before i get another guard in town i think probably pretty soon we'll just put it there so we'll have three guards guarding the guard post there's nothing getting in here and another nomad man i don't even have time to get to the uh oh fram base getting hit by his no fram no how what no I'm coming to save you, Brim. Oh, the guards are there. Look at him. He's terrified. The guards are saving the day. What is going on? Is there a zombie in my... Oh, there's a zombie in my tavern. Get him. Oh, the Helen Oakenheart. Save the... Oh, yes. Oh, man. 
Okay, there's apparently a spawnable spot in here. <laughs> Bram's like, uh, I don't like zombies in my kitchen. Thank you very much. Got him. Okay, yeah, I found a couple of spots here right there. And I just I just put stairs there because I don't want to be bothered with new lights and change the look. So there and there, there were two spawnable spots in there. Bram, I am so sorry, man. Good thing we got some uh, competent guards. There was also a spot up here on the top, like right up in here that was spawnable too. So I don't know which one it was. But Bram is safe to do back to all his cooking and everything now, if he can figure out how to get past this leaf, that is. So as I was saying, more nomads are showing up, and I might need to tone that rate down. But Mirabelle Strong is here, and she's a miner. You, you know what? Why not? I think I got... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's see. We got... No. We're full. Are we full there? Full there. Full here. And full there. Okay. Uh, uh, I gotta... I'm gonna get this... I'm going to get Mirabelle Strong because he's already level 13 miner, but she's going to have no place to sleep tonight. We need another house. Eventually, I'll get to the blacksmith AI. Trust me. All right, Mirabelle, hold still. <laughs> Quit wandering through my place. All right, hold on. Bam. All right, we've got a level 13 miner now, and I have no place to sleep. I'm sorry. I'll make you a house real soon. Trust me. What are you picking up? Oh, you're picking up tools. Oh, look at that. It's nice having a blacksmith, isn't it? Whew, uh, so much has been happening this episode. All right, let's get to the guard AI. I don't close the door on my face. All right, not the guard, the uh, the blacksmith AI. Oh, she's smelting the, the gold now. Okay, on the screen now, I'm gonna put a little bit more detail than I normally do. The the blacksmith is your uh, traditional crafting, you know, he's kind of like the chef and she doesn't actually gather anything, but makes all kinds of stuff. So uh, her AI is kind of broken into many parts here. So you can see the top one is gonna be deliver to storage, okay? And that is all the items that they craft, which is all the tools, equipment, um, even some of the charcoal, things like that will all get delivered to storage as their top priority. And, you know, just like all deliveries, once she's at the storage room, she will typically do a lot more things that are related to the storage room, like pick up more supplies or drop off more supplies. After that, her second priority is going to be empty furnaces. So she's going to be constantly smelting iron, smelting gold, or even more frequently uh, making charcoal. Now she makes charcoal to keep her own furnaces going, but also to help out the miners so that they can make torches quicker. And of course, like all crafting uh, villagers, you know, they're going to have to get their supplies. They got to get their materials from the storage room. She's going to have to get all her iron, all her diamonds, the logs, charcoal, everything she's short on to craft all the things that you need, all the tools and weapons and everything. Now, of course, crafting items, this is what the blacksmith is all about. This is the amazing thing that they bring to the table for the village. Now, I'm reluctant to go into, if I'm honest, I'm a little reluctant to go into the full detail of how all this works because I have plans to change it pretty significantly. Uh, but right now it is order based. So starting at the top at Iron Axe and working all the way down to Diamond Pick, this is the order they will attempt to make items. And they will make them as long as there is one of those in storage. So, the, you know, she'll make an Iron Axe, deliver it to storage. Make an Iron Pick, deliver it to storage. Make a sword, deliver it to storage. But then if the Iron Axe is picked up by, say, a Lumberjack, then an ir another Iron Axe will be made if she has the resources and she'll re-deliver that back. It works, it's okay. The problem is, is it doesn't take into evaluation the state of the village at all. So what I wanna do is make a more intelligent system that will, you know, evaluate, okay, do I have guards that need equipment? Do I have a lumberjack that needs an ax? Maybe my, you know, whatever. Do I, I need to make shears because my ranchers really need shears right now. So all that stuff will be, and I'm just realizing now that shears are on a list. I think bucket, bu it's right next to Bucket, by the way. Bucket and shoes are together. So yeah, that's the way it works right now. It is order-based, but soon it's going to be more intelligent, like, you know, analyzing the current state of the village and figuring out what is in the most need. And then finally, the lowest priority thing is smelting. You know, the, the blacksmith is going to do a lot of it. Any ore or any uh, iron ore and gold ore that comes up from the miners, the blacksmith has to smelt it in the blacksmith shop here. And then, of course, like I said, the, she's going to frequently convert logs into charcoal uh, up to a limit and we'll deliver them to storage. I think once there's like 16 or 32 or something, like that in storage they will or she'll stop making them anymore but this is going to help the miners craft torches and get back to mining much quicker here comes mirabelle down the mines i almost forgot we have three miners now that means we need three mine shafts so get to work diggers wow what a huge amount of progress this episode we've got another guard here fully decked out in iron armor diamond sword already Diamond boots for good old light here. We got, what, we got 
another farmer or two farmers. I don't even know. We got another rancher. We got, I think, two more miners. We got a blacksmith. We did all kinds of crazy stuff today. Huge, huge, huge jump in progress. I think next episode, almost definitely, I want the butcher because I really want to start getting those tasty, meaty foods. Uh, let's see. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Everybody's in the tavern tonight. This is great. It's almost like saluted me. It's like I walked in and I got saluted. Oh, hey, standing on chairs. What are you doing? Are you, oh, you're leaving. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll accept that. Look at this. Everybody's in here. Chatting it up. Chatting it up. All, all these voices are mine, by the way. It's very embarrassing. <laughs> it's funny because they all have different random pitches applied to them and stuff to kind of make it feel like they're actually talking and stuff. The women actually have a little bit of a higher pitch. Um, but yeah, they're all my voices. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. All right, I cannot wait for next episode. We're making huge progress now. Like I said, we're going to almost definitely do the butcher. Leave some thoughts, leave some feedback on the, you know, questions on the blacksmith. As always, guys, you know the deal. You know the deal, how it is. Keep the questions rolling. And I really want to amp up the progress on these episodes. And now that my Patreon servers are kind of stabilizing, I hope to get back to the next episode of this one in a little bit less time. I do apologize. I had to take a lot of time off to, uh, to get those servers running well and keep everything happy for the amazing new patrons. But that's it for today. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.